everyone, welcome to Prudent Media News. Let's have a look at the top stories. Government says no need of CBI probe in drug nexus case says if need arise then higher official will investigate. Chitendra Desh Prabhu severely criticizes government. NCP core committee withdraws decision making powers of NCP legislative wing. NCP unhappy with Kamat led government. Tragedy struck Indo Park on Friday. Maoist target train in West Bengal killed 65. Mosque attacked in Pakistan, 40 killed. Discriminated teachers stage Morcha at Panji, Section 144 imposed. 84 agitator detained, later released. Musli Power Churchill Brothers finish second in I League. Sporting Club de Goa and Shillong Lajong face relegation from top flight competition. And National Selection Tournament for Billards and Snooker to begin from Saturday at Miramar. India's top nine players to compete. And now the news in detail. Government has informed the Bombay High Court that there is no need to transfer the drug nexus case to the CBI. State government on Friday made it clear before the court that if needed, the case will be investigated by the highly placed official. The reply is following a query raised by the court whether the case should be handed over to the CBI. NCP National Secretary Jitendra Desh Prabhu has severely criticized the government for its attitude. The drug nexus case, which is currently with the crime branch, will not be transferred to the CBI. Suspended PI Ashish Shirodkar had filed a bail application before the court. While hearing the plea, the bench had asked the government whether or not the drug nexus case should be transferred to the CBI. This query was raised on Wednesday. The government was given a deadline till 28 to reply. Government made it stand clear on Friday before the court. Advocate said, there is no need to transfer the case to the CBI. If need arises, the case will be investigated by a highly placed official. The hearing on the bail application of Shirodkar is adjourned till Wednesday. Apparently, when Bombay High Court asked the government whether the case should be transferred to the CBI, there was a huge roar amidst the government. Sources say, Chief Minister Digambar Kamath, Home Minister Ravi Naik, Chief Secretary Sanjeev Srivastava, and Director of Prosecution held an emergency meeting late night in Panji on Thursday. Home Minister Ravi Naik has opposed any move to transfer the case to the CBI. National Secretary of NCP Jitendra Desh Prabhu has severely criticized the government on the drug nexus issue. Is it logical to believe that the government does not want to hand over this case to the CBI where the security of this particular country is in or state is in jeopardy? where the young are destroyed, their economic status, their culture, their very upbringing and being has been marauded by these very policemen who are supposed to be catching hold of all those guys. You are asking the policemen to investigate themselves. I would like this, the like-minded people, all the opinion leaders of the state to vehemently oppose this government's move not to hand over the cases to the CBI. I think it is necessary to hand, hand over the cases to the CBI and bring the culprits to book. Who is the government trying to protect? Are they trying to protect themselves? Are they trying to protect the police? Or are they trying to protect the drug cartels? A reporter in Panji, Laukik Shilkar with video journalist Shan. NCP's core committee on Friday withdrew the decision-making powers given to NCP legislature weighing on the backdrop of the recent crisis in the Kamath-led government. NCP had empowered the MLAs after the formation of G7. NCP core committee has also expressed unhappiness over the functioning of the government. NCP's core committee meeting was held on Friday in Panji. Core committee discussed various issues regarding the organizational setup. Core committee also withdrew the powers given to NCP MLAs to take appropriate decision on the backdrop of recent crisis in the Kamath government. 
NCP had empowered its three MLAs after the formation of G7. We have uh, confirmed it. We have uh, confirmed this in this meeting, so that we have withdrawn the whatever we have given that time. That's all. NCP also expressed unhappiness over the functioning of Digambar Kamath-led government. NCP so far is not very happy about the, the this, this uh, uh, function of the government. And uh, time again, we have uh, you know asked the, uh, the party high command to see that the things move uh, smoothly and and intervene in the certain uh, certain areas that we have already told our high command. Our principal correspondent Murari Shetty with video journalist Anil Sanadi for Prudent Media. The tragedy struck India and Pakistan simultaneously on Friday. While in Pakistan, the intersect violence led to the attack on the mosques. While in West Bengal, the Maoists caused a bloodshed. 65 were killed and around 200 injured as the Mumbai-bound Lokmanya Tilak Express train derailed in West Bengal. In Pakistan, militants attacked two mosques in the eastern city of Lahore. 40 people have been killed in this attack. 65 are killed and 200 injured as the coaches of the Mumbai-bound Lokmanya Tilak Express train derailed in West Bengal. The rescue operations are going on in the accident spot in West Bengal. Many people are still feared trapped under the debris. Injured people are shifted to the hospitals in Korakpur. The special train for the relatives have left Hora at 8 a.m. on Friday morning. Government has also declared rupees 5 lakh and employment for the relatives of the deceased and rupees 1 lakh for the injured. West Bengal government today said Mayoists are suspected to be behind the derailment. In Pakistan, Militants armed with guns and grenades attacked two mosques of the Ahmadi sect of Islam in the Pakistani eastern city of Lahore. Twenty people have been killed in this attack. Attackers took up positions in one of the minarets of a mosque. They threw grenades at armed policemen who tried to move in. At least 30 people were injured in the twin strikes. Gunmen also hit a mosque about 7 kilometers to the south in the city's model town. Thousands of worshippers, including women and children, were at Friday prayer when the raids at the two mosques began. Bureau report, Prudent Media. Time for a short break. Stay tuned for more news.